Katie Hacker, and it's always playtime on Hands On. We begin with this ice cream cone ball toss. This is a fun thing that you can enjoy making and also playing with when you're done. So what you'll start out with is some paint, and you're going to need a foam ball and a cone. You'll also need some craft glue, and you can choose to use glitter or glitter glue when you are ready to sparkle it up. You'll also want some things from around the house, like a ruler and some scissors, a pencil, paintbrush, and you'll need a brown marker, some string or yarn, a few rubber bands, and some pins. So what you'll do to get started is you're going to make yourself a template using the cone. And this is a cool way of making your own pattern anytime that you want to cover a cone with paper. So think about even using a cone as a mountain or something else. So what you'll do is lay your cone against the edge of a large piece of paper like this. Take a pencil and run it along the line of the cone. And you can see I already have a line here. And it's just at the corner, basically, of the paper. Then you're going to just mark the bottom lightly here and the top. And then what you'll do is start tracing as you roll the cone. Trace along the top. And that is going to help you make a paper that is perfectly sized to cover the cone. So you roll it all the way across. And when you get your bottom edge of the cone to the edge of the paper here, then you'll know that you can stop and then make your line up along the edge of the cone here. And then you might want to go back and fill in along the bottom edge so that you know where to cut those, that edge for your cone. Okay, so that's what you'll use to cover it, and we'll do that in a little bit. So that's the first thing. Now with your cone, what you'll want to do is take a spoon and start to scoop out along the top here. So just start with small scoops, and basically what we're doing is we're just making a hollow here so that the ball will fit down in the top of the cone. So you can use a metal spoon and start scooping. Now, be careful that you don't get too close to the edge. You want to leave a little bit of space there around the edge, or you can break that edge. So that's about enough space. It's about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. And you keep scooping this out and scooping it out and taking more and more out of the middle. And eventually, what you're going to come up with is all scooped out so that the ball will settle down in there. What you can do then is take your spoon and press it down so that you're pressing all along the inside of that cone to make it nice and smooth. Okay, so now what you'll do is get ready to paint the ball. And, you know, if you put your ball on the end of a skewer, then it makes it easier to hold. And you can use either type of paintbrush. You can use a bristle brush or a foam brush when you're painting on styrofoam. A bristle brush, you can really use the bristles to poke the paint down in and a foam brush helps you kind of use more paint at a time and cover the surface. So once you have this painted, what you can do is start to sprinkle some glitter over it. I'm just going to open this folder so that I have a place to catch my extra glitter. When your paint is wet, then just shake some glitter onto it. And you can catch the extra in the folder and put it back in the container when you're finished. Or once this is all painted, you could cover the whole thing with glitter glue if you wanted to do it that way. Either way, you're going to end up with a glittery ball that looks like this. So I'll set that one aside. Now, you also want to paint the top of your cone. So this is the part that's going to show once your cone is covered. So same process, you just paint it with your brush and add some glitter. Then we're going to take some glue. And remember our template that we made? We can cut that out and add some brown lines with marker. So at, when, you want, when you're ready to add some lines, they're a half an inch apart. And you just start by placing your ruler here and running your lines. All right, so once you have all of your lines, like I have here, then you can cut it out, and you have this cover for the cone. Then you're going to take your glue and run a line of glue along the edge of your paper, like that, and then press your cone onto it and roll it up. Then you can hold this in place with some rubber bands while it's drying. All right, so I'm just going to wrap these around the edge. 
Now you're probably wondering, how are you going to attach the ball to this guy? And what you do is take the ball and a pin and a piece of string. So you probably want to cut about 12 to 20 inches of string. Depends on how challenging you want your ball toss to be. You're going to tie this in an overhand knot. So you make a loop, wrap it around your finger, bring the loop right through like that. And then you can cut off your extra string here. Then you're going to glue this loop. So we'll add a little bit of glue to the bottom of a piece of paper circle here and place that over the end of the cone. Then put your string through the pin, add a little bit more glue here, oops, and then pin this into the bottom of the cone. And that will hold that in place on the bottom. And then you're going to tie the other end into the overhand knot and we'll glue another pin into the bottom of the ball. So overhand knot, then we're going to poke right through our knot with some with our pin and then add some glue and put it into the bottom of the ball. And then you're ready to let this dry and then you can play.